Good afternoon everyone and present to your attention the work of the room layouts plugin. The plugin allows you to do layouts on selected rooms and immediately place these layouts on the existing sheet or a new sheet. The plugin works by executing facades along the boundaries of the premises. For each of the premises boundaries will be made a separate type of facade and that facade will be put on the sheet. Let's take a look at how the plugin works in practice. Now, for example, I want to do layouts of the rooms in this corridor. I choose this room, go to the tab, BSER. I click on the room rollouts plugin. This is where we select all the settings we need. The first two settings are the elevation of our layout. So we have the room at a certain level and we need to have the layout at some elevation above that level and below that level. So we are setting the value here. So up by 4 meters and down by 0. If we had a room that had some kind of walls with a certain radius, so that you know you can do in Revit, facet views in the arc, that is, we can only do them on straight. And so for the walls that we have on the radius, we suggest using a plugin to do many kinds of facades and that way you, so you have, depending on the wall and radius, you are going to have several facade views. So that way it will smooth things out. If you have those walls, then you need to tick the box and lead step. In my case, those walls don't exist. Since the plugin will place the view screens on the sheet, we need to select the type of viewport. I'll select no title. The plugin will generate the views for these views preferably at once. It's desirable to assign a specific views template. You can preset to a view template a particular graphic and thus once set up view template and select it here in the settings and then apply the plugin. I will now select this view template. This is where you can tick the box if you want to set crop and boundaries for your views. I'll put it up. Then we assign an offset to our facade from the wall. There are times when you, for example, want to take into account some furniture that's standing at the walls and that it is also placed on the facades in which case the facade itself needs to be placed at some distance from the wall. You can do it with the displacement and set as an offset of the facade as well as the offset of the far edge of the visibility. Since the plugin will form specific facades, you will need to select the type in the project facade because we are going to end up with the formed certain annotations that will be located in the plan. You can do it in advance, prepare them, make some arrows or some other annotations and here to select that particular type of facade. So how we're going to position our views on some kind of a sheet? You have the opportunity to choose whether or not we are going to have it on a new sheet or on an existing sheet. If it's on a new sheet, you'll need to select the family of the main caption that you want to apply to the sheet. Set the sheet name and number. If you want to place on an existing, then you will need to select it. I will place on a new sheet of paper. And the last setting is the ability to skip certain small portions of our premises that we don't want to pay attention to. There are times that the room has many boundaries with small plots and we would like to skip where we don't need depending on the length of that section, for example, to see a particular facade. In that kind of case, we can set here that value in the plugin will skip sections less than a certain length. Number of millimeters. Run the plugin and we see that we had a new sheet with a specific type of basic caption. Let's delete it and see what here. Located the layout of our room. Each of these layouts is a particular facade. These facades we can see on our view here they were formed. If you change the family of this arrow-shaped facade, it's going to look more accurate. So for each of the boundaries of the premises, we had a facade formed. This facade was put in the sheet. Now let's take a look at the option where we have round walls. Let me make a little room with a circle wall. 
making a room inside, picking a room, running the room layout plugin. I tick the box here and set the pitch of our segments to 200 millimeters. Click done. We are forming a set of our facade layouts and we can see on the plan that we have. We have a number of facades have been made with a certain pitch in our wall with radius. Everything else remains the same in the plugins operation. That's it for now. Thank you everybody. Subscribe to the channel, give us a like and in the description of the video you can find the download link for the plugins with the two weeks trial version. Bye everybody.